Hi guys, Bobby Gas here. I got myself a bunch of uh, new uh, 45s on an album I picked up recently. Uh, classic gold. No new stuff here. But before I show it to you, I, I got to say something to you Americans, to you Yankees down there. What are you, fucking crazy? <laughs> I mean, this COVID shit... <laughs> I mean, I can't believe you you guys down there not wearing masks. I mean, uh, I got some truck driving buddies, and they've been down to the States and, you know, driving down there, and they've been in, oh, a couple of dozen of your states down there, Texas and California and Ohio, and, you know, a couple of dozen of them anyhow, and they tell me none of you guys are wearing masks, and you're all congregating, you're acting like there's nothing happening down there. Now, I know your politicians, your senators, your President Trump, you know, <laughs> man, oh man, guys, <laughs> you know, a little bit of hand sanitizer, not a little bit, buy some, use it, wash your hands, Clorox wipes, that kills stuff, that kills the stuff too, Lysol, they just proved that Lysol kills 100% of the COVID germs, right? I also have a, a UV lamp for killing them on stuff that comes inside. I get my groceries ordered now. I'm, you know, I'm being safe because <clears throat> with my lung disease and my heart disease and all the rest of my diseases, COVID will kill me. And, you know, I'm, <laughs> we're keeping the borders closed. You crazy Americans ain't coming up here to Canada infecting us. <laughs> You guys got to get your act together, really. <laughs> the face masks is no big deal, you know. I've even got a goddamn face shield for when I have to go see all these goddamn doctor's offices and shit like that, eh? I wear a mask and a shield, you know. It's life. It's protection. Get with it, guys. Jesus, Murphy. Now, uh, let's get to the records. Oh, I'll put this stuff away. Uh, later, I guess. I just ripped the bag. <laughs> here, let me put this stuff over here. You know, it's just a you, you know? It's like the Typhoid Mary. Typhoid Mary was a a broad down in Boston a couple of hundred years ago that went around killing everybody because she was sick. You know, and she, she uh, you know, big deal, right? So I got to work, right? I got to make a living, right? Yeah, let's kill somebody making a living. Fucking stupid. Anyhow, that's my, that's my mini rant, <laughs> Bri. <laughs> let's see the records now. This is all classic, guys. Jeez, I was going to go down and to my local cigar place and uh, buy some cigars after that last Cuban I had. You know who's a real cigar aficionado? Corey, the guy who shows all the uh, videos about uh, record stores. He, he knows the cigars. Corey does. I'll show the album first. I only got one album, and it's a classic. Adam Hart Mother. By Pink Floyd, the Pinkster. I gotta tell you, Pink Floyd, pretty much out of all the bands I've ever seen in my whole life, they probably had the best light shows. This is the, uh, the Canadian press on the harvest. Now let's pull out the old harvest label so you can see what the old harvest label is. The only other... <laughs> One I'm looking for uh, is a saucer full of secrets. That's the one that really turned me on to Pink Floyd. You know, it took me a while to like some of the songs off of that first album. And, you know, the spacey shit is <laughs> what I kind of got into, right? Instead of the avant-garde, how they started out. <coughs> Boy. If I got some nice 45s, stack of them. Well, 
I don't know, maybe a dozen of them. First one up here is the Beatles, the 1965 English Parlophone. Uh, can't buy me love and you can't do that. So I've got, uh, I believe, uh, the first four Beatle 45s, first presses, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the first four Canadian and British now. Here's another Beatles type like uh, thing here. Uh, this is a nice picture sleeve of uh, of uh, whatever gets you through the night, John Lennon. See on that, he's got the five pair of glasses. You flip it over on the flip side, he ain't got them. That's a much better picture of John. And that's uh, on the flip side of that is beef jerky, kind of like an instrumental, not very good at all, as far as I'm concerned. And this this thing here is a French pressing. Let's get it out and show you. <coughs> it's apple, but it's a French pressing. He's I had another French pressing too, right? They don't sound bad, the French pressings. Actually, them European pressings, they all sound pretty good from the ones I've heard, anyhow. Next up here, here's a band I wished I'd have seen. I never did see the Beatles. Here's another band I wished I'd have seen and I never did. The Yardbirds. Little Games. And on the flip side, Puzzles. I already have this one and have played today, but this is a like a mint, I mean a mint, 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 minty, 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 minty copy to hear this one here. I wish I'd have seen the Yardbirds. Yeah. Here's another Yardbirds, uh, For Your Love and Got to Hurry. And that's uh, on the, the Canadian uh, Capital uh, Swirls, Orange Swirls. These are nice labels. A lot of people really like these labels, but we used to see them all the time up here in Canada. It was just sort of an everyday thing. Another Yardbirds song uh, tune, uh, over, over, under, sideways, down. And on the flip side is Jeff's Boogie, which I never did think much of. Jeff, I, you know, I've seen Jeff, Jeff back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And the last time was, I think, 2000 or 2001 down at uh, Massey Hall. And this guy is, first time I seen him, and uh, he was, I, I couldn't believe how good this guy was, right? And uh, he still is. Every every time I saw this guy, he, you know, you, you just, he learned. He got better and better, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, that's a good one, over, under, sideways, down. But just, you know, the music he picks to play, you know, he, he needs somebody else to do that. I think so, anyhow. Of course, I'm opinionated. Here's an old classic, House of the Rising Sun. I already have this, eh? But, you know, when I see these, you know, records like this, I pick them up. I can't help it. Uh, <clears throat> I remember this tune here when it come out. When was that, 64? This buddy of mine had a Kent guitar, and he played this over and over and over and over and over and over again. Just, you know, do do, you know, just, he really, <laughs> he practiced. He got to be real, real good, actually. I mean, he carried the guitar around him, and he was his only child, and, and the, the guitar was his friend and all of that, and, uh, he got really good, but he didn't want to play in, you know, in public or in front of a whole bunch of people. Only some, you know, people he's known for his entire life. Like, you know, we were born together pretty much, actually. And here we go with a picture disc of the shadows. And this one here is a French EP on Capitol, the Green App Capitol. It's a French EP, the shadows. That's a guitar band uh, from England that was like the Ventures in the States. Nice picture disc of that. I also got the Shadows doing their uh, shindig and uh, it's been a blue day on the other side. <coughs> you know it's not a band that I think a, a lot of. It was really 
simple, simple, innocent music, actually. And they were the first guys in England to start playing the, the tellies, I believe, and everybody fell in love with them, right? The tellies, Stratocast. So here's a real Jim Daddy record here. <clears throat> I mean, when I was looking on the Internet, what I do if I don't know a record, because I know quite a few of them, if I don't know a record, I'll sample it on YouTube. And if it's a really good record and it's not too expensive, I'll buy it. And this is how I got this one here. Al King, My Money Ain't Long Enough. What label is that? Sahara, on the Sahara label. And that is a blues 45, a blues record. And you almost, I never ever see blues 45s. I, I've only got probably, I don't know, a dozen, maybe a dozen and a half, maybe two dozen tops of blues 45s from, uh, you know, from back in the day. And I've got, you know, I've got a lot of 45s. I guess I've only got, I got, uh, I only got about 3,500 now or maybe even less of that. I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff that I don't want. This is a good song. I'll have to play this one for you. My money ain't long enough when I, when I get a chance here the next couple of days or whatever. That's a good tune. Next up here is, uh, oh, <coughs> the, uh, geez, I can't see that. Oh, yeah, right, that's, that's Hank Ballard. Let's go, let's go, let's go on, on the green, uh, Regency. I think I got it on a black Regency, too, I ain't sure. But that's one of the Midnighter, Midnighter's famous, uh, songs. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rock and roll. Early rock and roll, 50s. <coughs> oh, here's uh, Rolf Harris. Somebody pinched my winkles. He's the guy that, <coughs> excuse me, he's the guy that uh, timey kangaroo down. He's an Aussie. I guess he's an Aussie singing songs like that. But on this song here, you know, I seen... The flip side, the B side, is Sunrise. That is an incredible Aussie, I don't know, uh, local tune or whatever, you know, uh, Sunrise. I, I'll have to play that one for you too. Eh? It's just, it, it ain't rock and roll, but for me, it, for me, it, it meant something. It's something I liked. And last but not least, is a Canadian band, an old Canadian band, never was popular, called the Ramblers, doing the Holly Gully. <laughs> hey, Holly Gully. Lisa knows what the Holly Gully is. <laughs> it's a dance, guys. And on the flip side here is, come on, pronounce that, pronounce that. Starts with a Q. Kimosabi. Kimo Sabi. Don't they make a dish like that or some Sabi something or other? The Holy Gully, the Slop, the Continental. These were all dances before the twist. Well, guys, that's it. Wear a mask. Later, guys. <laughs>